Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. I thought I would weekly vlog this week just because I've got things scattered throughout this week and um, my last couple of vlogs have been quite like short and sweet so I really want to give you guys a more kind of, I was going to say rich vlog but these are just clips of like little parts of my life that I'm documenting. Some weeks I feel like weekly vlogging, other weeks I do not. This week you've caught me on a good week so I'm going to be vlogging and um, showing you kind of what I'm up to and um, doing this week which is good. I'll be honest like I'm starting the vlog off in comfies. Um, I say comfies, I'm in my gym gear with like a baggy t-shirt on because that's just the vibe for today. I've got lots of like life admin to do, I've got catching up on emails to do, I've got scheduling, I've got lots of things kind of that I need to sort out and iron out. My battery is going to die on my camera so hang on I'll be back in a sec okay we're back sorry um hopefully we're in a similar sort of a space um what have i got to say i had a really lovely weekend i had lots of like little plans dotted about caught up with some friends that i haven't seen in a good few years which was really lovely we also had a little bit of a fiasco um in my area and the surrounding um sort of villages and even up to like the next town on we had water issues and for the whole weekend we had no water so i wasn't able to shower i had my first shower in a good few days so I mean, I look bedraggled anyway, but my first like proper like body shower in a good few days. Um, and yeah, I just, you take for granted like how much you need a shower. So I haven't really been able to like gym because I didn't want to risk, you know, working up a massive sweat and then not being able to shower at all. Like literally no water at all coming out of any tap or like anything. So it's just been pretty wild um, and definitely like, not for the faint hearted, I kind of thought, oh, do you know what, it will be okay. But when you need a shower, it just, it makes you feel miserable. Um, so my hair needs to be washed. I'll be doing that later after the gym. But um, I woke up this morning and I was like, oh my God, there's water. I can actually have a shower. And it really, really made a difference. I feel like it's made me feel really productive, uh, which is so strange, but there's nothing better than like waking yourself up with a shower. And I will never ever take for granted how lucky we are to have water like running water every single day just knowing that it's going to be there so yeah I just feel like a different person today I feel so much more alive and I'm going to feel even better once I've washed my hair um later today but um that's kind of been an update on my weekend I didn't vlog it just because it's been it's been a lot there's been lots going on and this week is going to be quite a nice week just to vlog um I haven't got too many plans but I'm going to try and like really focus on like i say this every vlog i'm pretty sure but just like getting my life together um continuing to get my life together mercury retrograde finished like last night so we're still in that shadow period but i just know that i already feel so much more relieved and how funny that the water came back on um this morning after mercury retrograde ended i mean is it a coincidence? No, I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, I've got some PR to show you. This week's going to be super fun. I've got a really, really, really cool um, event that I'm going to tomorrow. Uh, and it's something that I'm going to have to do solo because I am writing a feature on it, which I'm so excited for, guys. This is going to be my first feature for Fabric Magazine. And I'm just... I'm so ready. I'm so ready to start writing for them. I've been doing the social media and I'm just really, really itching to just get into the magazine itself and get online. So yeah, it's gonna be an amazing, amazing launch. I'm gonna take you for that tomorrow. This week is just self-care vibes, getting our life together. Um, I'm gonna be doing some journaling this week. I really wanna sit down and do some journaling. So expect that, get your, um, your notebooks ready, get your manifestation journals ready, get your scripting journals ready, because we're gonna be talking about goals, goal setting, reflection. It's very Mercury retrograde energy actually, but we're closing out on that vibe, but we're just kind of, we're getting ready for summer and the summer vibes. So I'm feeling really good this week, ready to go. Like, I just, I feel like a new woman. It's a mixture of the shower, Mercury retrograde ending and, um, just like a fresh new week it just it feels good to me um, and next week is going to be so busy um, so by the time you're by the time you're seeing this vlog it will be like the week that we're just about to enter into that is going to be one of the busiest weeks 
of my year so we need to get organized this week guys we need to ramp it ramp it up amp it up not ramp it up we need to amp it up but firstly let's let's kind of go in and talk about the pr that i got this morning it's funny i seem to get like lots of deliveries in like a big hit um which is always nice because it kind of feels like christmas day um the first thing i got actually was a the first thing i got actually was a product from brand nation so they sent me their um it's an arbonne product actually it's a dome results soft focus veil spf 30 now i always need an spf this looks like it's going to be a really really good size it says soft focus veil so i imagine you could probably put that underneath your um your makeup i'm always needing spf for when i'm traveling this looks great this looks like a really nice size um oh it's got a quite like fine applicator oh my gosh it's like a tint stop it okay this is not what i thought it was this is like a tinted moisturizer guys i don't even know if you can see that um i'm trying to record in this room as well because there's less mess going on my bedroom is an absolute mess yeah this product is actually really nice i'll have to give it a go it's really sheer it's like a glowy glossy smells nice actually as well um product but it's spf 30 so that is going to come in handy i think when i'm traveling around um and also i need to be wearing more spf in the uk like it's really bad to be like oh when i'm traveling i'll wear spf um i should be wearing it all the time and i try to but just to kind of put that out there um what else did i get i what else did i get i got a pixie delivery which is always a nice surprise they never actually tell you when they're delivering so they just these parcels just show up and it's the most exciting thing ever when it's a pixie parcel uh, this is the um on the glow bronze sticks i've actually had a few of their bronze sticks before so i had like a really really orange one i had a pink one and like a really soft um like blush toned almost like um like it was really 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 subtle like almost like a glow stick i know this is a glow stick but like it kind of felt more like a highlighter this is a new sort of set of colors so this is bronze beam and boost tinted moisture stick which i'm excited to try these out so these products are honestly one of my favorite things they are very similar I'm going to say similar I'm not going to say the same similar to the cheeky tints from Huda beauty I'll be honest i think the harder beauty cheeky tints are my personal favorite i've not been able to find anything that will rival it but i will give these two colors a go um i normally go for perky peach with the harder beauty and it's honestly my favorite shade and i will die on that hill like it is the best product so i'm going to give these a go and see kind of how they fare and compare um but this is a really really lovely treat so thank you so much for that pixie um super cute i also got a delivery speaking of like glowing and just yeah being summer ready i guess i got a parcel from bondi sands now i saw this at the um be the agency press day and this is the technicolor one hour express tan now when i open and show you this product or this set of products you're going to be blown away um by just what is on offer here so it's an entire range of different types of oh my gosh they've all fallen out the bloody packet um let me put this back in so it's this entire range here of different tans again i'm going to try and make it focus on the actual products look how insane this is so we've got a sapphire one this is the blue one and this says for a natural cool tone tan also as well look at the size of this this is going to be so handy for traveling like imagine putting this in like your travel case and just doing like a top of a tan or deciding like halfway through like you just want to pop a little bit of a glow on like you you literally could take this away and it wouldn't take much space um in your suitcase but this is a cool tone tan we've then got which i think i'm most excited to try this emerald one here and this is very deep olive tan now this this is giving me mamma mia vibes this is giving me hot girl summer euro summer this is what we need to be doing i haven't tried this but i'm going to i feel like this is going to be the first one i'm going to try because i love olive toned skin i think it's really lovely it's a deep like rich 
subtle tan but just looks incredible on everyone we've got magenta this says for a rich deep tone so this might be for the girls out there or guys that want like a really deep tan um i'm probably less on that side i like a lighter tan i think um, unless it's a natural tan in which case the darker the better um and then we've got a caramel tan so for a warm golden tone i feel like this would be really really good um towards like the end of summer so like august september time like that golden glow that you get at the end of summer they also really kindly sent me um a self tan applicator mitt which i'm not going to open because it's actually in a really um compact case and i might take this away with me um but yeah this is a self tanning application mitt it's a deluxe double-sided reusable um non-slip um like mitt which is great and it's part of the technical range so i can't wait to try this thank you so much bondo sans and thank you so much be the agency because i swear they spoil me and um yeah i just love the products that they work with and the brands that they work with it's just fantastic the last thing to show you in my little PR goodies today, this morning, is a new collab, a brand that I have never worked with before. This is Shu. Um, you guys probably know Shu and probably buy from Shu. I only have bought once from Shu before, um, but this is actually part of a gifted collaboration. I'm super excited to be working with them on this collab. We're basically sharing um, summer content, and I'm so excited for these i had to go for a sandal because i have lots of different pairs of shoes i have tons of trainers i wear my trainers to death and yes it would be practical to buy trainers like it would um but there was something really calling me to a pair of um like gladiator sandals with a strap something that's going to stay on my feet and just not budge I just needed a pair i can't wait to style these i'm thinking of doing maybe like a video styling these or just kind of showing you like how easy it is to have like a one pair of shoes situation and often i'm finding as well like when i'm traveling i want to carry less shoes because that is where i always go wrong i always end up wearing one or two pairs but i pack a million pairs and it's so unnecessary and yeah every single time i travel i just get really annoyed at myself because I just i hate the feeling of overpacking, but i also hate the feeling of not packing enough so i can never really strike the perfect balance and i think the reason why i overpack is because i don't actually have a medium-sized suitcase i either have hand luggage only size sort of cases which is not enough not enough space or i have a huge suitcase and i get hold for 23 kg and i end up filling it filling it with so much crap like sometimes i think back to when i went to thailand and i'm actually embarrassed for myself i took a 23 kg suitcase to thailand with me i took my teddy bear to thailand like what on earth was i doing like girl sort your life out so yeah i want to make your like traveling essentials easier and more refined like i want to do the hard work so you guys don't have to um have that horrible like regret you know when you open your suitcase and you go why did i bring those shoes i'm never going to wear them um which is why i wanted to go for a pair of shoes that i know i will want to wear these feel really like lightweight as well so they don't i don't think they're going to rub i don't think they're going to be painful um but i will let you guys know how i get on with those um yeah that's kind of the start to this weekly vlog i really hope you enjoy um the video if you found me just completely accidentally and you've never seen any of my content before make sure you go and subscribe to my channel i post a variety of different videos from weekly vlogs daily vlogs and lots of travel content as well so make sure you hit that subscribe button also check me out on instagram i'm gonna plug myself of course over there and yeah let's have a great week i feel really positive and um in a good like mindset for this week and the weather is nice so that really helps as well but yeah i best crack on i've got so much to do and eek, i can see my emails coming through so i need to sort that out um but yeah i will reconvene i'm not sure if i reconvene later today or tomorrow but you will be seeing a week in my life 
Good morning guys. So I actually didn't end up vlogging much of yesterday or anything else really for the rest of yesterday just because it was a little bit on the busy side. I ended up going into town with my mum to run some errands and we also went sort of home shopping for bits, bought some new um, interior bits which is lovely, always good fun. And I also popped into TK Maxx and I just kind of had a little look in the suitcase section because I am dying to get a medium sized suitcase. I've had um, trips basically in, in the last couple of months where a medium case would have been much better for me and I've ended up either having to take a really small case and not bringing enough stuff um, or having the issue of a, like a huge huge case and it just being a little bit on the unnecessary side. So I ended up going for a suitcase which I'm actually super happy about. It's from a brand called Cal Pack. Now I went for this green one. Again, green isn't really my um, my typical choice, but I thought it would be good to spot, you know, going around the conveyor belts and stuff. It's a medium sized suitcase. And um, yeah, I just think it's a really, really good piece of luggage to have. It's got the zips in the middle that kind of allow it to expand out further. So when I do have those trips where I've packed sort of outfit options, but I'm also bringing things back like products or bottles or uh, different things like that, then I can do so, it's not gonna be an issue. But I thought a medium sized suitcase was my next thing. I like It's kind of a bit like an essential purchase because of the amount of trips that I go on and um, also like shoot days as well. Like a suitcase like that is gonna be so productive for you know, carrying around London if I have to. It's not super, super massive where it's gonna annoy like everyone. I mean, a suitcase tends to annoy people in London, but what can you do if you need one, then, you know, a medium sized case is kind of the better option, I think. So I'm happy that I picked that up. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where if you go in TK Maxx and you see something that might be good for you, you have to just buy it because chances are you're never going to see it again. So um, I always say if you're going to if you're going to find something in TK Maxx, just take the plunge and buy it because you will regret it if you can't find it again. So I'm happy that I purchased that. Um, I have started my morning a bit on the slow side and I'm a bit annoyed by that. Um, so I need to get a groove on because I'm heading into London shortly and I want to be super productive on the train i'm not going to take my laptop in but i think i'm just going to work from my phone um, because i've got quite a bit to do and this week is proving to book up quite quickly i've actually got some events now on thursday which i'm really looking forward to kind of taking you along for so make sure you stick around for that it's going to be some fun um stuff going on this week but yeah i feel really good about the fact that i've picked up a suitcase i feel like that was a productive purchase and um yeah this week is going to be full of different things obviously today i'm going to remedy london and i am trying out their new facilities so i've got three treatments booked in which is honestly such a treat i've got a cryotherapy session which i'm really looking forward to trying a rebalance impulse session which i think is like a neuroscience technology which increases your focus and your ability to sleep it kind of just like works on um, the brain and the brain focus which i'm really intrigued to try out because my sleep in the last couple of months hasn't been great like i've had some nights where i'm having like okay sleep but i'm either not being able to nod off i'm just being like a zombie basically the next day and waking up late or i'm having like ease getting to sleep but i'm having these like mega dreams where everything i can remember like every bit of like finer detail i'm recalling the next morning so i'm actually feeling pretty exhausted the next day so um, i just want to be working out what that might be or whether there might be a treatment for that also with focus as well i feel like my focus hasn't been amazing lately so i'd love to kind of see how that treatment works for that i'm also going to be booked in for an emerald laser which is a fat dissolving treatment i'm super intrigued by this i think it works a little bit similar to liposuction in that it's that kind of fat dissolving um, experience but it's non-invasive so i'm intrigued by that i'm not really sure where i'm going to target it on my body most likely my stomach area or my legs but it all depends on what they recommend i cannot wait to bring you along for today i feel like this is going to be a really interesting experience because i've only ever tried the cryotherapy and i loved it um so yeah it would be nice to kind of do that again and also just basically have like a really extreme um uh, self-care day today so i can't wait to take you along for that this is going to be a good day 
I'm gonna stop rambling and yeah, I will see you guys in London. Hey guys, so I have made it to London. I am right by the, I think it's the US Embassy building, I think. But around the corner, just in the distance over there is the Remedy Clinic. So I'm gonna be having um, a couple of treatments at 3 p.m. It's literally, I mean, it's nearly 10 to three. So I'm a bit early. I've just decided to kind of sit in one of the garden benches and just kind of talk to myself um, for five minutes. But it's been quite nice just to sit in the sun and just do a few emails, sat down. I feel very relaxed, which I think is how I want to start the rest of this afternoon off because obviously I'm going in for some treatments. I have no idea what to expect and I'm so excited. I had a little like walk past the building and it looked really, really good. So obviously I will take you inside and show you what I get up to. But just good reconvene now that I'm in London. It seems quite quiet. I think it's because there's been, well there is a lot of strikes on this week so I, I don't think people are coming into London which I'm not mad about because it just means I'm watching the vibe but I will show you inside once I kind of get myself organised and settled and show you the treatments but I'm lo really looking forward to it and I just can't wait to show you what I get up to in Remedy London Clinic. currently in mid treatment right now i'm currently having the emerald laser on my stomach and it is um, basically a non-invasive treatment that enables like fat to be dissolved and um, put into like a liquid form and then it's drained out of the body with your natural lymphatic like drainage system so i'm really looking forward to seeing the results of this obviously this is just one session but um, i'm currently just sat here just chilling with the laser. Um, but yeah, I've had three treatments today. I'm going to be doing a Kundalini yoga session a little bit later in the next hour as well. We've had food and drinks. It's been so relaxing. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just kind of show you what I'm up to. My phone is just sitting there right now um, because I am just enjoying the vibes. But I will show you right now a little bit more of a closer detail into my stomach. Sorry guys, um, in advance, but you probably want to see it in action. I'm feeling quite bloated today because I started my period, so that's always fun. But all these treatments today have been really, really helpful and been really nice and relaxed. Hey guys, so where do I even start with the last 24 hours i don't even know also just quickly i think there's something wrong with my camera now like that's not even the light like i can literally see condensation in my camera um i'm not really sure why um i know it's going to sound like it was because of yesterday uh when i had all those treatments but i did not take my camera into the cryo it was outside of the cryo so i'm not quite sure why my camera is operating the way it's operating i might have to like go put it out in the sun so it can like dry out from the moisture um but can you see all these like moisture spots it's really bizarre i can see it in the lens as well um but just bear with me with this um clip and the quality of this clip yesterday ended up being you know quite the event quite the event so i had a really really lovely time at remedy london like honestly left feeling so amazing we did a I believe a kundalini yoga session which was so euphoric and just the weirdest experience ever um in the best possible way like it's very very hypnotic it kind of requires you to really like lose your inhibitions and let go and just release yourself to breath work and um using your like your vocal cords your throat chakra 
and um yeah it was just insane we ended up actually focusing on the sacral or sacral chakra um which is kind of located in um like underneath your stomach um and yeah it was like really about harnessing like creative flow creativity sexual energy harnessing that energy and like releasing it and using it um so i feel like this lens is getting worse i'm so sorry guys i don't know what's going on i may have to put you out in the sunshine um and hope that it dries out i think it's i think it's condensation from something um but yeah yesterday was a great session but then it took me three hours to get home which wasn't so great um so actually what was supposed to happen i was supposed to have my treatments and then i was considering going home and getting an early train thank god i didn't because turns out the i think it was like the six 20 or the 6 30 train was cancelled so there were no trains between 6 30 and 9 30 when i then got my train the first train that i hopped on yeah so i ended up staying for the yoga which i'm glad i did because i wouldn't have got home anyway so i ended up doing that and um got got on like the first train that was going near to Gatwick, hopped on it and hoped for the best and it was one of those things where I then got to Gatwick and had to wait like an hour and a half and it was just like oh my gosh am I ever going to get home. Got home at like quarter past 11 and I was just like right I need to de-stress. Had a few other issues kind of arise but it is what it is. I'm just I'm learning to ride the wave as we know it's what this tattoo is all about we're riding the waves we're just going with the flow and actually the kundalini session was all about that just like harnessing the flow and letting go of like the feeling of frustration or annoyance or whatever like i've been much more at ease lately in the last couple of months in just accepting that you can't change it so it's gonna happen, you just have to let it go, you have to go with the flow. Today is a home day, I'm on my own, I've got loads of bits to do, this week's super hectic, I'm just, I'm feeling a little bit burnt out, but only because other things have kind of affected my mood and I'm trying not to let them affect my mood. So I'm picking myself up, I'm just getting on with it, I'm just going with the flow. Um, it's one of those things in life where like, when one thing happens and then a million other things start to happen but at the same time good things are happening so it's like I don't need to be dwelling on stuff I just need to be like moving on and moving forward so that is what I'm doing this week I'm picking myself back up it's Wednesday tomorrow I'm kind of working from home as well in the day and then in the evening fingers crossed the trains pull through please pray for us um tomorrow I have a couple of events that I know you guys are going to love and i'm yawning i yeah i just need to get my life together this week and it's just all happening and yeah so what we're going to do today is we're going to focus we're going to get on i'm going to stop rambling and i'm just gonna leave this here but i just want to say the sessions yesterday were incredible i'll link everything below all the treatments that i had done because they were fantastic i feel like you guys will really benefit from those treatments and you don't have to do all of them but there's different things for different types of people or your focus or what you're looking for that was just like the chance for me to try lots of different treatments out and a session so very happy very relaxed after that session i feel yeah much more aligned with myself and i feel great so highly recommend i think the cryo is probably the one that for me delivers that like immediate like it feels like a dopamine hit like i can't even explain it i guess it's like what you get when you um go for an ice shower or an ice bath like the feeling afterwards is amazing but cryo is like so cold that you're like your body is like freezing up but you guys would have seen it in the video i was dancing to crazy in love and just enjoying life so yeah i will 
probably reconvene most likely because of this camera i will probably reconvene tomorrow fingers crossed it's all fixed and i can fix it um but yeah tomorrow is looking to be like a real mix of a day the evening looks fabulous so we're gonna have some fun and yeah i really hope you're enjoying the weekly vlogs i think it's much easier for me to film it's just some weeks i just cannot be not not bothered but just like i don't feel the energy to like pick up the camera every day but this week i do so that's what we're getting um but yeah i will reconvene with you guys tomorrow hey guys so it's thursday today and i'm off for my evening of events i had some work to do this morning so i was just kind of focusing on that then got myself ready and i've decided to kind of go for this sort of brown looking outfit. I've got like a brown bodysuit on and a like ruffle skirt here. Um, I can't really show you very well um, in my room right now, but um, I'm about to head out the door. My trains are currently running today, I think every hour. So I have to be quite quick with making my next train. Otherwise I'm gonna be late to my events, but I'm so looking forward to it. I'm coming along with Becca, who you've seen in my vlog in um, the last sort of couple of vlogs she's been in, um, one of those. And yeah, we're just gonna have a really lovely evening together. Catching up, I feel like we've got so much to catch up on with both our work lives and personal lives. It's just been crazy as per usual. Um, I've had some deliveries today, which I think I will show you tomorrow just because I haven't got time to do it now, but I've had some deliveries. So I'm super happy about that. It's always nice to get like things in the post, which are a bit of a surprise. I will be showing you those. And, um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get myself out the door. I feel like whenever I pick up the vlog in these sorts of clips, I feel really like scatterbrained and all over the place, but I promise you, uh, I'm gonna get better at just being more on the ball with chatting and, and let you know what I'm getting up to but yeah ready to go heading to the station now and I will pick up and resume the vlog once we're in London and I'm with Becca. Hi hey. guys look who I'm with. Hiya. We just stopped off actually to a DeLonghi event which I actually didn't get any vlog clips for because I was chatting away um, but we had a cheeky cocktail we're now with coffee in. With coffee in. It was delicious. It was. It was the DeLonghi pop-up. It's in Covent Garden. It's still going to be there for the next few days. So make sure you check it out. It's incredible. I recommend the one with rum. It was so good. So good. Um, but we are just outside the Skinny Dip event about to go in. We're really looking forward to it. Just going to do like a quick, like, fleeting, fleeting Yeah, a quick, a quick trip. little uh, trip into there. Because where are we going afterwards? Whispering Angel. Whispering Angel. Okay, yeah, we're going Whispering Angel. Yes, which I'm really looking forward to. to. Go. It's my favourite rose. So it's amazing. So basically yeah. they've just opened, well not just opened, they open it every year but it's their Whispering Angel rooftop terrace which again I'll pop the location in the description for you guys to check out but it's going to be a nice opportunity for us to have a little date night, yeah. like girls night, catch up, we've got lots to catch up on. Yeah, catch up, Whispering Angel, <laughs> nice view, perfect. Perfect vibes. So we'll take you into Skinny Dip and then we'll go to Whispering Angel for some wine. Oh, can't wait, let's go. So, hello. We are Whispering Angel out, I think. Yes, I've had a nice few glasses of Whispering we Angel. Could take more, but we've yeah. got to head home, unfortunately. And um, yeah, we've just kind of been enjoying the vibes of the rooftop, chatting to new people, having a glass. Mm -hmm. It's been nice, but we've got to say goodbye Time to each other now and go home. Um, but we'll, we'll do some more things. <laughs> I think we'll see each other Sunday. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> We'll do some more things. Literally, I'll see you on Sunday. Sunday. So you'll yeah. see that in the vlog because I'm doing a weekly vlog. So yeah, so see you Sunday. See you Sunday. <laughs> hey guys oh my goodness so i'm recording from my bed but from this side of the room i don't think i've ever actually sat here and recorded bear with me i'm just gonna get comfortable um we need to catch up we need to catch up on a few things actually because the last like two days have been crazy yesterday i ended up not being able to vlog 
um, just because it was a super busy day and lots of things happened and it was just like Friday admin, Friday craziness and I ended up going out to the pub so yeah it was just like chilled vibes, Friday feeling, super good but I wanted to catch up and give you Saturday, you're also going to be getting Sunday tomorrow um, because I have part of something that I'm going to tease, I'm not going to share much but I'm going to tease part of one of my secret projects. Guys, it's finally starting to come together. I'm so beyond excited um, to share more and there'll probably be like a whole vlog at some point very soon. But um, tomorrow I'm doing something really, really special and I'm basically preparing for it today because I need to get my life in order and my head in gear for that. It's basically all day in London and oh my gosh, it's just gonna be so good. But a few updates so I woke up this morning after going to the pub woke up like quite late this morning and I had a phone call from TK Maxx telling me that they found my airpods so I went and got my airpods back guys I'm so happy um I was basically without one for nearly a week and I kind of like I lost hope because I ended up buying another pair and I know that's like a bit silly to kind of just go out and spend the money and do it do the thing but I had to because I don't know about you headphones are one of those things they're almost like a safety net or like a safety blanket like going out without headphones on like specific places like the gym or going out like around town or when I'm going on like to London on the train I didn't realize how much I relied on headphones and just zoning out in certain scenarios and certain like spaces as well so when I was in London the other day and there was like it took me hours and hours to get home I literally had nothing to really like entertain me or distract me and I was very like present and aware of the situation and what was going on so yeah it's crazy what headphones can do and I know it's another thing that distracts us from life but I just love headphones so much so now I have two pairs I also ended up going for the free engraving which they didn't actually have the last time I got my airpods um, but it just says stay sweet on there with the sparkle emojis I hope you can see this come on I hope it's gonna focus yeah so I got stay sweet on there because I thought do you know what if I drop them or whatever I mean fingers crossed I don't um, they can be like identifiable um, because that's a very niche a very niche phrase I mean it, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that says stay sweet so um, yeah I'm so happy I'm literally beaming the guys at TK Maxx were so lovely they called me and just let me know that um, the headphones were there and I went and picked them up I also got them some chocolates to say thank you and um, because I don't know the person that like actually found the headphones I was gonna bring them cash but then I thought I don't know if it's gonna get to the right person um, so I thought I'll just get a box of chocolates and hopefully you know that will spread the love and just the appreciation so um yeah basically thank you TK Max for having really lovely staff um next up in the catch-up sorry I'm repositioning myself because I'm sitting really funnily on my bed I'm actually just gonna like boost myself up here um I got some PR yesterday or two days ago um and I got even more yesterday so I thought I would do like a quick um sort of tease of what I've got in I've got a selection of clothing as well from forever new I had a big delivery from them but I'm not going to be sharing that just yet because that kind of ties into content that's coming later this week so I will probably I will probably include that in either next week's vlog or the week after um, but I did get a really big amazing delivery from forever new so thank you so much to everyone there for being just so beyond generous and um getting me some new pieces but i've got lots of pr to kind of chat with you through and discuss and just i'm so excited like i feel like summer is the summer vibes are vibing i'm getting that energy I'm, I'm booking plans i'm making plans now and i think that's what makes me happy and when i have things to look forward to i'm so much more focused and i've realized like that is what keeps me going and that's what keeps me positive and like in that kind of like concentration mode so yeah this next week is going to be so crazy like i'll be sharing more um uh, there's going to be i think two vlogs next week that's how busy next week is going to be um but yeah pr let's talk about it first delivery i got was from joma jewelry now i believe joma jewelry is actually linked with um the katie loxton brand i believe i think i think they're connected um but i've got some new pieces from them i've actually i've actually never owned 
anything from Joe Majori. So this is an absolute treat to receive. Um, so I'll just get out the pieces. I want to do some content as well with these, so I'll probably have to tie them all up. But I've got all this in a delivery. So like three things here, which I believe these are all bracelets, I think. And then look at this. This is what makes me think it's Katie Loxton's like sister brand because of the packaging. Um, if you guys know, Katie Loxton um, do this where they say uh, just for you and then they've got like the little name badge on there and that is just so adorable. So I thought I would just show you, I'll open one um, just because I'm gonna do some content on my Instagram. So make sure you check out my Instagram for all the PR stuff. I'm gonna open this one. Um, I basically asked for bracelets. I'm such a bracelet gal. I actually did have my bracelet on, but I've taken it off. Um, but I'm really in my bracelet era and I love them so much. Imagine if this isn't a bracelet. No, I can tell it is. Um, I saw this and I just thought, wow, I need to get one of these. I've just remembered which one this is. <gasps> Look, it says my name on it. This is amazing. Like this is what I love about the packaging with Katie Loxton and with Joe Majori. Like, look how amazing this is. It says my name actually on the packaging. So the packaging has got Alice written on it, which is incredible. And then this gold A on there attached to the bracelet. I'm so excited to wear this. This is a sunstone bracelet. I'm really in my like crystal bracelet era. Like I literally love wearing it. It's my only jewelry that I like to wear on my wrist. Like I'm honestly obsessed with this. I got a couple of these. This is beautiful. It's like radiate energy. Be the energy you want to attract. Like how insane is that? So this is the kind of vibe of the pieces that I got. Um, so I'm just gonna tease one of those pieces, but thank you so much to Joma Jewelry for honestly spoiling me with this. Like I'm so excited um, to style these up properly like such a treat what i'll do as well the pieces that i have got i will include in the description so you can shop the bits that i did end up getting um next up we've got we've got loads of pr guys um i got this delivery from i believe it's brand nation i've got a few bits actually from brand nation but this is a product or brand i've not actually used before again babe glow so this is a i think it's like an eyebrow and lash set but it's all at eyelashes actually. Um, let me just show you. Oh, I've got lip gloss in there as well. So I've got a mascara here. It's their enriching mascara, lifting, peptide infused and water resistant. This looks great. I feel like the amount of mascaras I go through at the moment is just crazy. I don't know whether it's because I'm using mascara wrong or whether I'm just constantly wearing so much mascara, um, but I'm getting through so many at the moment. So this will be really, really lovely to have. I got a plumping lip jelly. Again, big fan of like a juicy lip. So this is gonna be so nice to have um, to keep in like my handbag or when I'm traveling. This looks amazing. It's like, like a jelly consistency. Um, yeah, I'm finding these are really, really popular right now. So um, sorry, I feel like I have to constantly like tap my camera because it's just not, it's not intuitive enough. Like I have to like tell it where to focus. Um, and then this product, right guys, I think is probably the most like exciting product for me because I've never tried a product like it. I've always wanted to give this a go. This is a lash growth serum. Now tell me if you've used either this product before or a product similar. I am really, really intrigued because I don't actually have like amazing lashes. I have to kind of curl my lashes up to kind of give it that volume. Um, and then I go in with like a really like nice thin lengthening mascara. That's typically what I go for. Um, but this is a treatment that says 88% or longer lashes within six weeks. It's got biotin and amino acids infused in the actual serum. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. I'm gonna let you know what works and what doesn't. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna let you know. Um, but honestly, I'm so excited to try this. So thank you so much to Babe Lash. Like what a cool idea. And also I really love this little case. This is so handy. Like I am actually gonna be reusing this for when I travel. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Continuing on with like the biotin themed products, I also got a delivery from, 
let's see who this is from oh this is from capsule comms oh my gosh guys i feel like i've been like totally spoiled i've actually tried this product before and um got through them quite quickly well i took the recommended dosage but um yeah i just loved the way that um this product worked for me i'm on my like vitamin hype and my vitamin era as well like i feel like i want to really be thinking about the next five to ten years as you know a woman getting past that past the 25 mark i feel like you have to really take everything much more seriously like your skincare habits your diet um exercise all those things like they, they should they should really be like your focus anyway but when you kind of hit like 25 i feel like you suddenly start to notice stuff um I don't know if it's just me but I, I've really noticed my body changing and I feel I feel very I don't want to say the word old I don't feel old I just feel like I'm in my adulthood now um so it's always good to have products that are going to be like supporting you and supporting your body this is for healthy hair and like skin nails etc um so this includes biotin and zinc to support the maintain the to support the maintenance of normal hair growth now you guys know i have short hair so you're probably thinking what's the point in like growing your hair it's more for like hair health and just condition and all those things biotin is also very good for your skin and your nails so why not do the most and take these i've started taking these again um which is great it's viviscal i think or viviscal um tablets so i really want to give this a proper shot and keep taking this consistently so it's really nice to get a top up um i think i actually took from the other packet i'm not sure um but this is what the tablets look like and they're just in this packaging here so you could easily like divide this up and just take this away with you or um yeah kind of keep it in your handbag it's like a very easy size um product it's not like a horrible plastic capsule that's another thing that i cannot stand my body literally rejects plastic capsules like paracetamol anything like that i cannot take them um so it's really nice that these aren't coated these are just like pop them in and you're done um so yeah really excited to see the results of that i'm going to keep trying this out obviously that's going to be an ongoing thing so i will reconvene with you guys and hopefully you'll see some changes in my own um like appearance hopefully fingers crossed um next up we're we're on the vitamin hype guys i feel like i've got such a nice um like flow of products here um so i'm trying to remember what pr gifted me this i think it was science magic co yes science magic so it says here we go dear alice we're excited to introduce you to vida glow with the sachet away summer essentials kit complete with marine collagen and anti geox to support your skin to support your skin hair and nails for visible results whilst on the go now this to me looks like a product or a set of products that's going to be so great for a girly like me who's traveling and wants to kind of maintain things and just be on like the hype even when i'm abroad so i've got two flavors to try here i've got the berry flavor marine collagen and i've also got the mango flavor which this is the one that i chose um that i like really wanted to try because i don't know about you i love like tropical flavor things especially if they're like um like a supplement or a, like a, a product basically that um is a vitamin i just i really enjoy like tropical flavors so we're gonna give this a go i'm not gonna do it now um but i am gonna try it and i'm just gonna get the packaging open so i can show you what you get here so it says it serves one 30 servings in this little um case i'm just trying to think the best way to oh this is cute this is the packaging is really nice I have no idea what to expect guys oh, wow okay shall i have one shall i take one now because i actually haven't taken any like vitamin tablets today so not that this is vitamin oh it's a pa is it a powder oh it is a powder okay so that's maybe not what i was expecting so i think i have to put this with water let me check um okay yes so it says recommended use 
blend one sachet into 250 to 600 ml of water or food or beverage of choice so i bet you could put this in a smoothie whack it in a smoothie and just drink it if you're if you're someone that's funny like I, I know people that just it's in their head like because it's not something that they would normally take like a protein shake for example they'd be like oh my god it makes me feel ill but if it's kind of in something else like a smoothie i feel like that's a great way to do it i'd probably do it with either water or smoothie um so i'm gonna give that a go uh i might try all this out in next week's vlog and you guys can see how i react to that um but what a cool idea like these are so handy to take and also this just made me realize you wouldn't need to put this um through with your like i was gonna say with your milliliters you know your 100 ml stuff um you wouldn't have to put it in there because it's a powder so that's really handy for traveling um i love that that's really exciting and then also another thing which i love about pr boxes is the like additional extras you get i got this water bottle which is so cool like this again is like so cool to take around i could probably even have the collagen in this um but i love bottles like this Qu like quirky shaped bottles are always a bit of me um but this is like perfect like handbag size like imagine that just like slotted into your handbag obsessed um not sure if you can buy these but if you can i'll make sure to link them below um but yeah that's pretty much everything that i got pr wise over like the last two days it's always nice to get like little things in and um yeah it's just so nice i can't wait to try all the products out so thank you so much uh feel absolutely spoilt i'm going to head to the gym shortly get a workout in and then i think i'm going to start watching selling sunset because a brand new series has just dropped i'm super excited about it and um i also you guys are gonna laugh so hard i haven't actually seen the vanderpump rules finale episode yet because i was gonna watch it like after work but i kind of thought no i don't want to be in that like vibe i want to be really really relaxed i want to have like my favorite food i want to make a cocktail or two so i'm gonna make a cocktail i think tonight and just like sit and watch the Vanderpump Rules finale and just have like the best vibes ever um just because I know the drama is dramaing I don't even know what to expect with the reunion to be honest as well like it's just going to be carnage but um yeah there's so much good tv on at the moment thank god um I love it so much um but yeah there's like so much on Netflix now they've put the Harry Potter films on Netflix so I might download some of those for like flights and stuff they're always good to have um on flights because it's like a whole movie series like that can take you through like a long haul um flight but yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much everything for today i really hope this sort of clip um has been enjoyable and i hope you're enjoying the longer vlogs like these clips are pretty long so you're getting um to kind of chat with me for a long time but uh yeah let me know if you're enjoying the weekly vlogs over the shorter dailies it helps for me to know i did do a poll the other week asking you guys what you prefer and it was 50 50 so i can continue doing a mix of both but yeah it's always nice to know what your thoughts and opinions are i'm gonna enjoy my vibes today i'm going to go to the gym with my airpods and yeah i'm just gonna have a really good day i'll see you tomorrow good morning guys i'm just heading to london this morning for a studio shoot day um I'm ready to go. I think I've got everything prepared. I will be teasing a couple of little clips in this week's vlog, but for the most part, it will be um, something I will save for when I can say more about what I'm doing. I'm heading to Many Room Studios. You guys know I use and shoot in the studio in London. I'll pop all the info in um, the description and I'll actually pop the Instagram on screen now so you can go check them out if you're looking to book in with a proper studio. We've got two spaces actually and new spaces just opened up so there's like endless and countless possibilities um, in this space so it really is like the canvas that you bring to life. I cannot wait for today. I think it's going to be really fun. I'm just going to go with the flow. I haven't like massively planned a ton, but um, you guys will see bits throughout the day. So yeah, let's go to London. Hey guys, I've arrived in London and I've parked up, but this is just the start of my stuff. Watch me basically get all of this into the studio solo. Like I've got to a point now where I'm pretty good at getting it all in. 
Um, but yeah, I have lots of stuff and I've arrived in London, so let the work day, shoot day commence. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna like. This I didn't is think so I was nice. Like this dress, but so, guys, this is the Skims dupe, okay? From Bershka. From Bershka. And I it, think it below, it also comes in brown and I think like a nude color as well, like a white and nude. Yeah, color. it looks so it, good. It's amazing. Turn around. I actually might wear <gasps> this. Love. Love, love, love. By the way, we've now moved to a different studio. It's just down in the same place, but yeah, I mean, it's, sorry, it's a different it's room. Many rooms, but it's the other many rooms. Yeah, it's, it's the, the many, many rooms. Yeah, it's one of the many, many, many rooms. <laughs> so this is the space, actually. Let's show them. Let's show the space. Mean, we've, kind of, we've kind of made a bit of a mess. And also, I'm not used to vlogging anymore. Has oh, I bought us um, some, coffee. some coffee. Yours is over here. <gasps> I got it out ready. Oh so I'm we sorry. look at that green. Look, I know, right? Oh my Cheers, god. Okay, oh, go. Guys, Hello. we've done it. We're we've finished. smashed it. We did our shoot day for secret project number one. Mm. What a day. I know, I'm actually um, zapped now. I mean, I had the coffee, so I'm, I'm better now, but was yeah. a moment, there was like a little slump. Oh, we had a slump. Like, when we transitioned into the other studio, we yeah. both sat down and like ate a packet of crisps. And, and I was like, oh my god, I need a coffee. So we Uber Eats to coffee. Oh. Good choice from you. Where, yeah. where was the coffee from again? Black Sheep. Black Sheep. Coffee. Coffee. It was delish. Obviously, is that a London milk. only? Place? I think it is London only. I mean, I've only ever had it in London, but you guys can let us know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm feeling much better now. But I'm, I can't wait to go and have a bath, go get out my makeup. Because yeah. you know when you get these lashes, I just want to oh, them off. take them off. I can't wait to just like get in my PJs, my gym jams, have a cup of tea yeah. and edit everything from today. Like we did so much content. We've got like TikToks coming out. We've got all sorts. We're trying to get you up and running on the socials. Yeah, I'm trying to up my socials again. I mean, oh, years ago I used to do social media a bit, but I stopped, been doing journalism, living a life like outside living of social media. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll start let's, posting let's again. Let's do it. So my hair looks ginger in this light. No, it, look, it, it looks, looks really set. nice. It looks gorgeous. I love the colour anyway. Yeah. I need to actually get my hair covered, so yeah, so I need to sort that out. But yeah, anyway. Anyway, Ooh. two countryside girlies signing out of London. Here. Yeah, we need to go home <laughs> yeah. and get in our gym jams and hear the sheep and the birds. Yeah. <laughs> Over and out. See you later. Bye.